Shovels turned dirt in Washington Thursday as U.S. political leaders broke ground for the U.S. Institute of Peace. It will be the first permanent headquarters for the independent, nonpartisan organization that Congress founded in 1984. Former U.S. Secretary of State George Shultz said the group is focused on trying to better understand what factors lead to violence and how they're resolved. How did something violent go to something more stable and peaceful? How did that break down and all of a sudden there's violence? From the killing fields of Cambodia to something more stable. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the organization helped resolve some of the worst violence of the last century and continues that work today. The Institute has played a key role in helping to find peaceful solutions from South Africa to Rwanda to Kosovo and now to the Sudan. U.S. President George Bush said it's in America's vital interest to help resolve conflict because people who live in free societies are less likely to turn to ideologies of hatred and fear. Freedom is universal. We believe that freedom is the birthright of every man, woman, and child. Free societies are peaceful societies. Freedom helps supplant the conditions of hopelessness that extremists exploit to recruit terrorists and suicide bombers. Mr. Bush spoke of Afghanistan, where U.S. forces helped remove a previous government. He said in this country and in Iraq, the U.S. has a special obligation to help build free societies by providing the security necessary for that freedom to grow. The president again spoke of the ideological struggle against extremism and ways it challenges free societies. There are developing nations, many on the continent of Africa, that are facing extreme poverty and health epidemics and humanitarian catastrophes and are therefore vulnerable to extremists who take advantage of chaos and instability. The U.S. Institute of Peace is currently working on conflict and post-conflict analysis in Nigeria, Liberia, Afghanistan, Iraq and Iran. Scott Stearns, VOA News, Washington.